I was happy, but very frustrated at the same time. I was happy because I immediately noticed a difference in how I felt um, with that menstrual cycle. And I was upset because I have been menstruating for over a decade and certain levels of pain that I have experienced through menstruation, I realized I did not have to experience that. Alessia here. Today's video is about organic menstrual products and the positive effect that they may have on your menstrual cycle. I have been using organic menstrual products for almost a year now and I wanted to wait before I made the video because as women there are a multitude of factors that can contribute to the experiences that we have from one period to the next and so I really wanted to ensure that the experiences that I had with switching to organic menstrual products was consistent before putting this video out. I care a lot about women. I care a lot about female reproductive health. And so this video really does have a special place in my heart. So you may have seen videos or posts on Tumblr or Twitter or anywhere talking about organic menstrual products. If you've switched to them, have you noticed any differences? Has your cycle become easier? Have you noticed any differences in pain? And I came across one of those threads back when I still had a Tumblr account almost a year ago, and I just saw so many women talking about their experiences and their improvement with menstruation that I couldn't help... <laughs> I couldn't help but think, you know, maybe there is some truth to this. And so I went and bought um, organic pads and I was happy, but very frustrated at the same time. I was happy because I immediately noticed a difference in how I felt um, with that menstrual cycle. And I was upset because I have been menstruating for over a decade and certain levels of pain that I have experienced through menstruation, I realized I did not have to experience that. It's been a year since I've been using organic menstrual products and it's like, yeah, I don't experience that level of pain anymore. Do I experience menstrual discomfort? Yes, most of us do. However, it's not unbearable levels of pain anymore, nine times out of 10. So I have used, I've used both pads and tampons organic to see any difference that I've noticed. And the biggest difference that I have noticed has been in pain level. And when I noticed the difference, I asked myself, what is it that's in regular pads that may be contributing to the pain that I and so many other women have experienced? And I don't know if there are studies on this. A lot of the times the woman's body is not considered worthy of study. And so I'm going off of what's in these products versus what is in the conventional products. The organic menstrual products, the majority of them do not contain bleach of any kind. They do not contain dyes, although some of them do contain titanium dioxide, which I use ones that don't, but some of them do. They do not contain pesticides a lot of the times. Yeah, it's, it's organic, of course, organic menstrual products. Um, it might be made from cotton or bamboo. I've seen that kind. And, you know, given that the female reproductive area, it is so sensitive, it is capable of absorbing. It's like on one hand, man, we should have known that using these products that are potentially laden with pesticides and bleach and all these other things that it would contribute to menstrual pain. But unfortunately, there is a culture of normalizing women's pain. It, is, it even goes down to religious aspects, but I won't get into that today. But normalizing women's pain to the point where we don't realize that we don't 
have to experience the levels of pain that so many of us have been accustomed to. Although I haven't noticed a difference in the length of um, my menstruation from switching over to products, I have noticed a difference because I don't eat a vegan diet anymore. Um, there have been women that have said that their cycles have gone from being very long in the menstrual phase to like four or five days, which is a lot more bearable. Some women have even said that they don't experience the same levels of bleeding that they had before. It just really makes me wonder, you know, what type of damage has been done to our bodies going through that cycle after cycle. I wanted to make this video because I think it's still very important to talk about this sort of thing. The regular mainstream menstrual products are still the convention, right? If I go to any grocery store or a drug store and I go down the feminine care aisle, the vast majority of what I'm going to see are the conventional products, whether it's always Tampax, Kotex, Stay Free, all the different types, and they have those um, harmful ingredients in them. Now, thankfully, because so many more women have been talking about this sort of thing, there are a lot more options available to us than before. For those that are into it, there are menstrual cups. I've tried the menstrual cup, it's okay, but I find that for my general life coming and going, it is a little inconvenient to use. I feel like maybe if you have more of a stay at home type thing, it's more suitable. Um, I do use, like I said, pads and tampons. I'm actually showing the ones that I have right now. Um, so currently I am using the Cora uh, Tampons Multipack and I have found these ones to be very good. They're organic cotton. There's no titanium dioxide or anything in them and they go on sale often enough. So I'm grateful for that. And then for my pads, I actually just use like my store brands overnight um, cotton pads. It's the, it's like their knockoff of this other brand called I think Organacy. And I'm sure those ones are fine, but they're a little up there in price. And so I'm grateful that my store brand has something that's way more accessible. That's another thing too, accessibility. I wish that these products were more affordable. I don't like that they cost more because it kind of leaves us to say, well, am I going to spend more money on my feminine care products in order to reduce the pain that I experience and maybe not have to buy, for example, over-the-counter medication or be able to even handle my pain with an herbal tea or something? Or am I going to continue to use what I use? It's definitely a personal choice. And I will say that another way that I know that this is not a placebo is that um, there was a time where I had to use um, menstrual products that were just given away for free, right? And of course, they were just regular type menstrual products. And I used a pack. And when I had done so, I felt very sharp pains when using that pad until I was able to go and change and switch to the types that I have. And then the pain did subside sometime after that. And it was the, the level of pain that I had been used to experiencing prior to making that switch. You know, making this change wasn't just good for my cycle, but it was good for my overall life because my cycle is not separate from it. You know, women, our cycles very much dictate our lives for a substantial portion of it, right? Our energy levels, what we can or can't do, etc. And so going from my pain being as high as like an 8 out of 10 at times to my current max is like a 6, it is literally night and day because at least the way that I measure period pain, each number is like a magnitude of pain higher than the others, you know? And so it just feels really good to have a better sense of, even I guess you could say a better sense of control, a better sense of ease with my menstrual cycle, because I, I don't believe that our, our period should be this point of contention. It shouldn't be something that's like such a horrible pain to experience. Yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable. Our bodies are doing a lot, but it shouldn't be this unbearable horror 
that many of us experience for 30 to 40 years, right? So yeah, I just wanted to make this video to continue to spread the good news um, concerning organic menstrual products. I definitely, definitely recommend giving it a try. If you have tried organic menstrual products and you've noticed a difference in any aspect of your menstrual cycle, any benefits to your quality of life, please share it down below so that, you know, more things can be um, shared in case there's anything that I have missed. But thank you very much for taking your time to listen to this video. I hope that it has been of use to you. Uh, take care and I will see you in my next one.